All right, folks, uh, goody good morning to you. It's a Thursday, September the 13th. And of course, the age old maxim comes to mind here. It says, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. I am citizen Jones Hussein. This morning, the Paris Club refund conditionalities for release. Of course, the club refund has been approved by the federal government and it says states must abide by certain conditions and uh, quickly I read out some of these conditions. Salaries and arrears to be paid. You talk about some uh, outstanding payments of pension claims and uh, repayment of budget support loans granted in 2016 and add this clearing of amounts due to the presidential fertilizer initiative. Now, my guests are Dr. Luke Onyekakea, is a member editorial board of The Guardian, and I welcome you, Doc. Thank you. Uh, Good how morning. do you do? Good morning. How do you do? Good. Uh, we also have uh, Alester Wilcox, uh, he's a chartered accountant and political affairs analyst. Welcome, Alester. Thank you very much, citizen. It's my utmost pleasure to be here with you this morning. Right. You, you know, gentlemen, the the issue of the Paris Club refund is no new news here. And uh, even as we speak, Dr. Onyekakea, many states are still owing salaries. In 2018, and this sounds crazy. Yeah, this is, this is the truth of the, that's the truth we're facing right now. Um, at the beginning of this government in 2015, you know, the issue of salary was very, very prominent issue. All the states were complaining, people were complaining, workers complaining, workers are not being paid, pensioners are dying. Then as a result of that uh, lamentation from different quarters, from different corners, um, President Buhari decided to assist by giving a bailout money to this, some states, many states, to be able to offset those uh, outstanding salaries and uh, claims. claims. Well, we are here in Nigeria. We saw what happened. Why some states tried to apply the money judiciously to some extent. Many failed to do that. Many of the state governors utilized the money for something else they thought maybe it's more urgent to them. So as we speak, across the states, virtually all the states, workers, um, especially pensioners, pensioners are still crying, dying, they are not, they, being, they they are not being paid. Hit. And these are old or you know, senior citizens that have worked over the years, and they are at the stage of their life when they should be reaping the fruit of their labor they are reaping nothing. So this is the issue. So um, what we can say at this stage is that the desire of the people with regards to offsetting those claims has not been met. And so um, I don't know, the states I think they are still asking the president to help, or assist, assist them to be able to yeah. You know, we'll, 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 we'll get back there. Okay. Let, let me okay. um, extract Alester, Alester Wilcox's uh, opening salvo. <laughs> uh, citizen, this is one of the um, negative dysfunctional aspects of, of our federation. Um, we seem to concentrate so much at the center um, in terms of expectations by the masses and the citizenry forgetting to look at the co other components that most uh, touches us that's, as individuals, which is the states and local governments. Um, just like doctor said, President Muhammad Buhari is always unfortunate each time he comes to power, that he always inherits this uh, uh, hydrated monster of uh, non-payment of salaries. I remember when he came uh, in... Alessa, you talk about gov governance or government being a continuum. Yeah, yeah. You remember when he came in 1984? Mm. I remember especially a state like Denbender State was owing about 13 months salaries and so many other states. 
I mean, it was all in the news. And the first thing they did, and that was what they spent most part of that attribution to this, to clear up backlog of salary. And so when they sent ministers, when they sent governors, and he was clearly told, you are on posting to carry out the wish of the federal government. So they went to the states to start to pay up the outstanding salary. And Tito, too, he has inherited that this time around. The unfortunate thing is that he inherited it as a civilian. It, it, it is not by design. Well, as a civilian president, whereby control for the states are limited because by a constitution, the states are supposed to have absolute control of their resources. But as a father, as a father figure, he even inherited about four months salary at the federal level. As a father figure, he decided to, like the doctor said, help the states. And at a time when it was critical, there were no money, the oil price is low, money available to the professional accounts to share is low. So there are ingenious ways of helping the states to meet up those. But unfortunately, it made the fact that the states claimed, so to say, that they're autonomous. And so even when they get this money, how did they apply it? They say, they told some of the states, like Fireshare will tell you, uh, civil servants are not the people that voted them in power. The Okada riders, the market women, the uh, transport workers, and the other ones are also part of the state. You are rubbing that in. They are also part of it. I mean, that was what he said, and, I, and at least I can quote <laughs> one person clearly. <laughs> so, so the money was, was largely mismanaged. It, and remember, it's not just Bella. You know, as the time he came in, there was a money that nobody has ever knew exists in Nigeria, which is dividend from L uh, NLNG. Well, NLNG. About two NLNG, point yeah. something, uh, is it billion or thereabout, came in. Nobody ever knew that that NLNG has been paying dividend to the federal government. But when that money came in, the, the money was part of what they shared. And then he also now went to ask the central bank to release about, I think about 600 billion or thereabout in bailouts and Ni but, Naira. Yes, yeah, Naira, shared, yes. Shared amongst yes, states. Yes, yeah. so those that cannot pay. Some states didn't take, states like Lagos didn't bother because they didn't have need for it. I think Anambra and I think Kano didn't uh, bother. But some other states went for it and yet yeah, they didn't apply it to it. You know, and so the president has, in order to help the state, in order to help the economy boost, because this is when there is expenditure. People do not understand what the economy is. It's when there's an expenditure in the economy that the economy grows. The economy does not grow like planting cassava and thing grows. It is when there is there is stimulate growth, because and then who are those that grows the economy? Are those that earn income? So if the civil servants who, who in most states constitute larger part of the a workforce in most states, in most states, are not paid, then there is an issue. You can the market tomorrow will not have, will not sell the landlord will not get his money. The dry, the yeah, just right. just so the ripple it. effect goes yeah. on, and then the economy becomes slow, the sluggish. Yeah. Manufacturers, manufactured goods cannot sell. Warehouse will be filled up with with um, with uh, manufactured yeah. goods, yeah. and so there is a law in the economy. Those are, those are what the president foresaw and felt that the states should be assisted in um, in paying up salaries so that Put people can simply, spend. Put simply, you are on the same page with the federal government no, which, no, when absolutely. it says there must be conditions. At this point, yes, for, for yes, releasing yes. It. By the time we broach it, maybe we'll be able yeah. to identify why there should be those oh, conditions oh, okay. must be there, and and I mean, and why we should be able to Doc, support those we must conditions. Begin to find out now, and uh, let's play a little okocha if you understand what I mean. <laughs> how did you? How did we get here? We always talk about fiscal federalism. federalism. It is not the business of the federal government per se, but, but we are saying the federal government can send a bill to the National Assembly to help, you know, take the burden of, of the center. Allow states, he mentioned Lagos, Kano, perhaps uh, Anambra. Anambra. And maybe Rivers also. And maybe Rivers. I think Rivers, rivers took. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, you, you know, who can stand alone. How about allowing states to make their, their money, because it was there before. We did it before, long before now. Um, I think we're in a quagmire in this country. And what do I mean by that? The quagmire is from the, point, from the fact that we say we are Federal Republic of Nigeria. If somebody is in far away North Pole or South Pole or far east or far west, he has a Federal Republic of Nigeria. They will equate it to maybe Federal, the, what you have in Australia, Republic of Germany. What, what you have in Germany, mm. what you have in Canada, and so on and so forth. We are different tiers. tiers, have complete autonomy to exploit whatever they have and utilize it the way they want and develop 
the way they want. Pay tax is and is, then pay you know, tax to, to the, the center. center. That is that is the fundamental the meaning of federal republic. But unfortunately, that federal republic we has we have it in Nigeria here yeah, is just on paper. The federal government is in control of the resources of this country. That's what the law says. Yes, and that is, that, that is the quagmire we have. That's the constitution for today. And it is on that basis that the federal government, despite the fact that the states are supposed to be quasi-autonomous, because every state has a, a, a state assembly. Mm. They make their own laws. They have a governor, and so on and so forth. But now when it comes to financial issues, the federal government is the dictator, which is totally wrong. That is why we are, we are in a fix in this country. Until that, this is unchained, until how? it is... It, how? How do you set about doing that? It's by amending the, that aspect of the constitution that clearly says that the federal government, all the resources of, of, the, federal, of, of, of the federation belong to the federal government. That is the, it's a simple thing that could be done. That is why we have a national assembly, if they really want to do it. Look, you are not watching him. He, he, is, <laughs> he, he does not seem persuaded by your logic. <laughs> if, if, if he's not persuaded by this logic, and that is the, the way we can move forward, then we will remain, we keep rigmaroling here. Puncture it if you can. Yeah, citizen, I'm not on the point yet. I'm just trying to um, ice it properly. Because he said the federal government takes its uh, in charge of financial issues. That's not true. Apart from mineral resources, mineral resources, which I think were things to be looking up to. I don't know how many countries have mineral resources. The federal government is not in charge of your IGR. Nobody talks about IGR of states. Why is Lagos so rich? Is it on mineral resources? It's on IGR. Why is it? that Borno cannot compete with Lagos? Why is, no, be, no, in terms I'm coming, of IGR. I'm coming, it's because, no, you know, every state, even in the United States that we talked about today, you have states that are rich, those are the New Yorks of this world, the, Californ the, uh, the Californians of this world, because of the embedment of industrialization, manufacturing and all whatnot. There are other states that have, that's an agrarian base, mm. okay? So they can never be equal. Now, why is Lagos so rich? No, no, but, but, but by the same token, yeah. if we throw his line of argument, yes. each of these states yeah. in America yes. is allowed to keep a percentage of what it makes. From in Nigeria, in Nigeria, you know, in, in Nigeria, in Nigeria, you, you, keep, in Nigeria you keep 100% of what? Of what? Of your IGR, of whatever you no, make no, no, to your but, state. No, no, no. No, well, let's separate it. We, we must be on the same page. Yes, let's separate it. No, no, if, if let's take, separate no, something. No, no. Uh, hold on, Wilcox. You, you have taken me to America. We'll follow you there. Yes. But we are saying um, New York, Texas, Texas is oil. Yes. Um, New York, industrialization and so yes. on. And they keep a percentage of what they earn. We are not talking about IGR. It here. is the IGR right now. What is the end? IGR is either from mineral resources. And IGR means internal generated revenue. I agree. But it's are you exploiting your, your, the resources on, 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 no. on your soil? Even in America, yeah. even in America, the federal government still give you license to explore. And oil the in law Texas. Said, but, be, but that's because the law... You have a different, you have law, a different sharing Unless that the arrangement. law says so yes. in America. Yes, But, but the but, law... But, but what I'm saying Nigeria is, is telling no, you, what I'm saying the Nigeria law does is, not say What so I'm saying here. Nigeria is, Nigeria is this. We are only basing uh, uh, state income or revenue on mineral resources. We are not looking at the other classes of resources that states generate. State generate income tax, payee. It does not go to the center. States generate tax uh, Even resources. when you know many Nigerians don't pay tax. No, no, but that is your responsibility. And that's why Lagos today is succeeding because they made people to pay tax. They've created a tax environment. They do. They are into business. Look, you may come in here. Let's yes, make it a business. dialogue. So what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is that it's not only mineral resources that will make a state grow. Yeah. It is how you do businesses, how you do, how you do your tax. Even that, if it sounds, and you don't pay any uh, to the uh, federal Alessa, government in this case. It, even if it no. sounds like like singing an old, you know, like like a broken record. Ondo State has the second largest bitumen deposit, deposit yes. on this planet. Exactly. 
So they say. But we, not so they say. Okay. Please, please. The, the, the facts are sacred. Okay. You know, but we import bitumen from Venezuela. That's a fact. There's a Ministry of Solid Mineral that should have been able to have done that. That is a failure. By law. That is a failure. By law. That is a failure look, look, of please government. Help us here. Let, let me allow um, you. Thank you very much. Um, you see, I think in talking about Nigeria's situation, can we, can we go back to from where we started? Say 1960. You know, we had a Nigeria that got independence in 1960. And the founding fathers of this country, by their wisdom, allowed regions to be there in the constitution. So we are talking of Eastern region, Western region, Northern region, and so on and so forth. And Midwest. Along the line by 1963, we started hearing of Midwest, which was again allowed, an autonomous entity. And by the same token, you had a 1963 constitution. Yes. Republican. Yes. Which gave autonomy to the states. Yes. So. To the regions. So, so to the, to the okay. regions. To so the during regions. that period, during that period, we were, I, I remember we were, we were kids that time. You know, our senior brothers were in primary school and the rest of them. You know, they used to sing, uh, you know, there were some songs they used to sing showing that, in fact, oh, Eastern Nigeria, it was a leader. We were, that song was taught in primary that Eastern Nigeria is the leader in Nigeria, kind of. You know, based on palm oil produce, you know, timber, agricultural produce, and so on and so forth. So, and uh, as, as make it complete. Wait. Midwest rubber. The Midwest. West. Rubber. Cocoa. West, cocoa, north, north ground, north, ground north, cotton, cotton and, and, and so on. And so bean seed and the rest of them, yeah. you know. So there was competition, very positive, healthy, healthy competition that was going on. Nobody was looking at uh, Tafa Belewa to give him money. The, 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 the governor, uh, Michael Opara in the East, was premier. Not, premier was not looking at uh, mm. uh, uh, Tafa Belewa to give him money. Or the premier of Western region was uh, looking for... In fact, we have information that even the federal government was borrowing mon borrowed money from the West. The Western region built the first television station in Africa. Built a stadium. They built a stadium. They built the Cocoa House. Yeah. It, was, it was a skyscraper all at because, that time. All because, all because you didn't of what? depend on the center. All because they were free to exploit. And, and look, because you know, the law at that time said so. The law allowed them. To All right, let, let me take this break, not by law, but by necessity by here, <laughs> yeah. by design here. Go ahead. We, we'll go on this break and return. Don't forget it, Paris Club refund conditions for release. We'll be back. Okay then, welcome back. Please join the debate. The Backroom Boys will tell you how. But let's look at Nigeria. At a time, this country had a meaning. We were poor but, but humble. Today, we are, in quotes, seemingly rich but... Stupid. Okay, you're using yeah. stupid? Yeah. So how did we get here? Yeah, as I was saying before we you know, went on yeah. break, during that period, 1960, 61, 62, 63, 64, and so on, before 1966, there was healthy competition. Every region was doing well. In fact, in the West here, there was free education for everybody. Which I, I gained by it. Thank God, you are a, a, a living witness. So, what are we talking about? This country was doing well from the beginning until 1966, January after the coup. Which was avoidable. Which was avoidable. Well, but it took place. So this country derailed in 1966. And ever since then, is wallowing in the, in the, in the wilderness. Uh, and, and so our development has been arrested? Everything arrested. So that regional structure that made this country to be reckoned with, 
um, um, I have information that foreigners were coming to UCH, Ebado, oh, yeah. for, for, for treatment. Oh, yeah. White uh, people. Uh, okay. I, when I entered the yeah, University so. of Lagos in 1979-80, there were white people. There were foreigners in Unilag. White people. Zimbabwean. Zimbabwean. I remember Zimbabwean. Not even, not even from Africa. Yeah. White. I saw white people. Okay. Okay. As students. As students. Yeah, that's so, what I'm saying. So the universities yes. were earning yes. foreign exchange. So there was foreign exchange. There were, we had white lecturers. British Europeans. They were there in Unilag. Why? Because there was something happening here, good, happening here. But unfortunately, this country was truncated. And from that point, a unitary system was introduced, abrogating, abrogating the, Region. the regional system. Yeah. That is the crux of our problem. Now, I agree. We, we put a, a slight pause there. Alester, is it difficult or not difficult to go go back there you can't go back in a, in, in 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 one thing you can't go back to regions no 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 yes go back to where what we were doing no you see and uh, maybe maybe citizen you, 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 you're not getting my line of argument okay the, speak, the it, the, speak speak it in, the, in english yes the yeah. truth is citizen all that doctor has enumerated i agree in total completely now in 19 it's 79, at least I started getting some idea about the country. 1979 to 1983, late chief Samuel uh, Mbakwe ran Imo State. Imo State today has been divided into about three states. Abia, Imo, no, two, and, two and part of Ebony. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, part yeah, of yeah, Ebony, yeah. yes. Yes. The achievement of Sam Mbakwe in three years, in four years and three months that he was, he also was governor. His achievement has not been equaled by three governors. Three governors put together in 16 years of democracy. Military and civilian com let's, let's combined. Let's take democracy. Mm, okay. In 17, it, in 19 years of democracy, the achievement of Sam Bakwe in three and a half years in Imo State, which today is three states, has not been equaled by the three governors put together in present day Nigeria. So but, it but, is, for me, okay. it is not all about the paper law but that those that were operating the laws and the conditions that within which we are seeing the country uh, today. Lester, I, I want to presume you are listening to you. Yes. Are you listening to you? Myself, very well. Sam Mbakwe operated with the law he inherited. Yes, the same the same so, law that, um, okay. that that the same law to the same law that minerals mineral income income from mineral is still domiciled in the federal government. And the state still share from the federation account. They don't even have this kind of. I remember. They, I, I remember the prior, the prior to Kibo, uh, uh, commission on the labor, labor allocation through 1980 or thereabout. I remember those laws. I mean, when when the bill was going on, the allocation available to states even then were not what they have today. They have far less. The IGRU they had then was far less. And when we are talking about, and when Doctor was talking about, he was talking about cocoa and all that. And I said to today. Nobody, no federal government laws say you not exploit cocoa resources because it's agriculture. Palm oil. No, no federal government laws say you not exploit palm oil. A, 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 a Bonnie state is uh, uh, living uh, on rubber. salt. A Bonnie state is living on salt, natural salt, and uh, rice. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's one of the poorest states in Nigeria. Is, is, is there a federal it? government law that says you oh, not exploit okay. resources let's, in, in that direction? Let's uh, compare what uh, Joshua in Niger State is saying to yours. Yeah. Joshua, good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning to your guests this morning. All right, then. Good morning. Um, so I want to make my brief contribution. Until our leaders see the public government as a private enterprise, whereby if you are running or you are leading a people, you see it as your personal business. This country cannot move forward. We are by in a situation whereby we, we vote in or we go on to select people that have failed in their own private business mm -hmm. to run a public enterprise. Here you know that somebody who cannot even to, who cannot run his own private business effectively. Mm. How do you expect such person to be able to 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 run a type a, a public uh, enterprise until we we the citizens wake up to pick or to elect people that will, who have really done well in private sector to yeah. really lead this very nation. 
Yeah, if yeah, it covers yeah, this nation yeah, cannot yeah, move yeah, forward. Yeah, Joshua, and, and to add to that, we, we must uh, expand your logic. Uh, not not uh, just not just not the guy who is good at the uh, the internet and, and all uh, that. Uh, no, you you you, uh, you you must under, understand the dynamics of politics and vis-a-vis -vis leadership to, to be good uh, at it. It will have to transcend because it has to come from the bottom get to the, the top. Mm. You discover Bassani or Wolo, look at his tribune. His tribune is still really running, up to date. You look at Mbakwe, you look at... There are the, the, the handprints of these people are still speaking for them. Th th thank you. And so some of these are the new crop of leaders we have in this very nation. They have not done anything. Thank you, and Joshua. Thank, thank you. We are at, at least we are exciting you. Yes. Um, so, so, let, me Dr. Dr. let me just tell my thought. No, so, if, sorry, so I don't forget. Okay. Joshua, Dr. Onyekakea, maybe deliberately forgot to mention the West African pilot by Zeke. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Yes. He is telling me about Tribune. He didn't mention the West the, the pilot power. came in 1937, mm -hmm. the Tribune 1949. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, now if you look at the Western region then, the bulk, bulk of their resources came from the agricultural sector. Not Minara, which we are talking about today. It came from the agricultural sector. And we are, the unfortunate thing was that leadership now and let me also say this. I didn't know how much the Eastern State government between 1960 and 1966 made from oil. I don't, I don't think they were making money from oil. I don't know how much they made from coal, which was, we have an Be, Eastern Because coal to you at the time, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. What uh, matters was the palm produce, the rice, that, the salt that, in, 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 in Abakalik and all those. That's what it, matters to them. Okay, but okay. today everybody is thinking of oil it, and it, mineral resources it, alone. It's, it's about leadership. For which, it, lead, good, but, leadership. But... Also, let, let me take Suleiman. He is in Lagos. Welcome, Suleiman. Thank you so much. Good morning, sir. I Good greet you. Good morning. I appreciate it. Well, my own take is that, uh, you see, members of the public must put something at the back of their mind that is very important. Hello? Yeah, you are on. Go on. Okay. Must put something at the back of their mind, which is very important. If we are talking about internal generator revenue, we are talking about members of the public to begin to pay their tax. If a loan will be given to state, how will they generate money from the state and pay back the loan? <laughs> Until people comply by paying their tax. The loan, before, you give, before the federal government will give any loan again, there must be a proper condition. So mm. that we will not continue to put money unnecessarily and we cannot do we, we, we cannot use the money judiciously yeah and even if we use it judiciously there is no way it will generate anything that will meet that will be profitable to the federal government yeah so we, 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 that we, condition is yeah. very right we, we share your sentiments completely and uh, at this point we take another breather we'll be back quite a lot to talk about Welcome back, folks. Uh, Alesta, not that Luke is thinking for you. No. Luke never suggested that the law is hampering states from utilizing whatever money they generate internally. But Luke is saying you, you're looking at the totality of the structure. Yeah. Let federal mind defense international relations and related matters mm. allow the regions to 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 free will you know ex exploit what they have we, 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 because we were there before that's what yeah, that's what yeah, he's saying yes we were, we there, were before. there before yeah, yeah we were there before and we saw the advantage and disadvantage of being there now that has long gone because you see when you're looking at states now who created states the federal government when we had region, the, the military. When we had region, okay, let's call the federal the government. No, yeah, no, the federal, the government. Mili okay, federal the military, military government, government created. But you know, on, the on, current government on, cannot create on, on on request. Yeah, 
by people, some people who feel marginalized, like you are people who felt marginalized. And my people, and your people, and my people feel marginalized. Not his we, people. We, not his when, people. When, you, when you created Abia, <laughs> what, was he marginalized? No, he, they felt, the Abians felt marginalized under Imo, so they wanted <laughs> to be out. Oh, so that. you see, so it will not end. But what, I'm yeah. saying, what am I saying? At that point, we had a kind of preponderance of location whereby one, it may not be all the new cranes of the northern region that was productive. Kanu might be very productive. Um, uh, Zamfara might be very productive on something. So the fund was in the central port and they used it to run the entire structure. If you come to the southeast then, it may not be all the areas that were productive. Like we just said, most of the palm products came from a, a back area of the, of the southeastern region then. But the money was in a common purse. And so it was used commonly and rationally and reasonably with men that are committed to vision and to purpose. Not today. How many, how many ministers, how many commissioners okay. or ministers do Okpara uh, uh, work with as assistant region uh, 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 premier? All right. Just, but just, today is different. Okay, then. Um, let's take a strong man. He's calling us from Republic of Ireland. His name is Samson. Samson, I greet you. Welcome. Brother Samson, are you there? No luck. Yeah, Onyeka. Good morning, Uncle Yari. Okay. This face is. Hello? This face is yeah, Usain. Are you there now? Uh, yeah, I can. But this face is not your ease. This is Usain. Go on. Samson. Not quite ready. Right okay. What I'm trying to say is that. Not until when Nigeria knows exactly what they stand for. Nigeria must ask people and put them to question because those people, not until when we start telling our leaders that this is what we want, they voted so many money of recent, but what are they doing? They will be telling you they use this money for this, they use their one. But in order not to make story, we should be looking for a way forward. And the way forward is we should ask everyone to be accountable. If you are having a government, if you are having a, a, a minister or whoever that is representing, uh, representing your constituency, ask the constituency allowance voted, where is their money? Not only when we individuals start monitoring whatever that is given to us from the federal government, Nigeria will never go forward. We should not forget we are all human beings. There is no one that is a state. Even yeah. in Europe, where we are here, or America, it is the law, the institution that comes so many things. Okay. There is no, there's no one that is an angel. But when we put our institution right, if not, you will not be seeing someone that will say that is a... a it's more intelligent than the one who is there or whatever. Someone that managed bank, bank collapse, state collapse, and so many things. And you see, trying to you see yeah, the other okay. you want, you know, I'm not going into politics. But what I'm saying is that. Sam, you we, are already, Samson, yeah, you are already yeah, there. You are already yeah. there. <laughs> okay, Samson. That is already in politics. Again, we can't help talking politics. Each of us is a political animal. Yeah. Yeah. And we are being affected by what is happening in politics. I have said here that this country derailed in 1966 after the coup, military coup. And from that point, the war ended after three, almost three years, 1970. As at 1970, this issue of oil, nobody was hearing of oil in Nigeria. Until the boom. It was, we were hearing of shell, I remember. Oh, yeah. We used to hear of shell. Shell. And we, we, wished, know, we, we, we wished, many of, we, we worked there. Many of them didn't know what they were doing. It's true. There were a few people who knew what Shell was actually doing. You know, where there's a place called Shell Camp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's of recent that I got to know that that was a place, Shell, when they were uh, exploring oil in, in our area, Ikeduru area, that was a place they set up their camp. It's still there in Owere today. It's called Shell Camp. So what am I saying? What I'm saying is that, during that period, the eastern region and other regions, you know, they were not looking at, the federal government was not controlling the, you know, the, the money. 
Yeah. My, I, I, my, my brother here is saying that the federal government doesn't stop you from carrying on with exploiting ag ag agriculture yeah. and uh, other things like that. You see, there is there's what is called, um, you know, there's a kind of historical shift in, in the way people think are thinking. The thinking now, somebody gets up now, he wants to contest for governorship, for Senate or for whatever. His, his, his mind is focused on the post in Abuja. Oh yeah. <laughs> During that period, it was not like that. Somebody wants to contest election. He wants to serve his people, his local government. I know, a, you know, rural roads in my village in Ikeduru, Imo state, and bridges, that, bamboo bridges, that were being used during the war. Vehicles were applying on them during the war. Because the, the PWD was doing the roads. Those rural roads were being done by PWD. Uh, they were being maintained. maintained. Yeah. But all those roads have, they have, they have been overgrown by bush. Nobody's going there anymore. So what are we take, saying? You see, we are in a country where things are not working well. And everybody is crying. People are crying. We are dying. We are crying. We are dying. Look, things are not working well. It is man-made. That's what I'm saying. It is as a result of this shift in thinking, shift in the way things are done. Then this shift of, you know, having what, what I call sh sharing democracy, sharing democracy. Uh, uh, some uh, states have to go to Abuja to get money to come and do whatever. And, and Wilcox will tell you it Which, doesn't it doesn't happen in America. You know, I don't no. I don't I don't see Nebraska no. going cap California in hand doesn't to go to Washington to get to, money. To, no, 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 we are wrong. Okay, there are there are there are structures of federal uh, government, fe federal government in, in, in California. I know, I know, yes, yes in yes, every yes, country. Yeah. Now, yes. now, now, let me even take a true um, uh, conf kind of confederation, which is the British system. You know, in Britain you have the England, you have the Wales, you have. Uh, Ireland. Not, uh, not Ireland, you have Scotland. Oil is in Scotland, in the Scottish territory. But Scotland does not have assets, does not control the oil resources. Westminster does. Scotland takes taxes. All right, le le let me in take Shola. Okay. Somebody from I'll that your Ireland is calling. Shola <laughs> is here. Good morning, Shola. <coughs> How are you, Shola? Hello, hello. Hello, good morning. I greet yes. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just want oh, to... Okay. You are on, you are on, go on. Hello? You are on. You know, the signal, okay, the, the signal will be yeah, delayed. Um, what I want to contribute is um, when I on to the telly this morning, Shola, please and go my on. My question is, the topic that you brought out is not about the regional something, about tariff drop refund. You understand? Many workers are listening. They want to know what the governor has been doing with this money, and they want to know about the country. But the doctor is bringing us back to let us see, which is not the topic of today. Yeah. And the time now remains 20 minutes. Many workers <laughs> want to listen. Yeah. So your topic today, please. Okay. Yeah. I, I got you first time. But let me also tell you, there's a background. We are, we are timing ourselves. We are going back there. How did, the, uh, how did it come to a state where state governors must go to Abuja to get refunds? Yes. That's, we must lay a foundation. Yes, we're laying a yeah, foundation. after this, we'll go oh, back yeah. there. Yeah. But there is no time to discuss about Paris. No, no. Let, let's, we are going to go in, into it. It doesn't okay. take... An eternity to do so. <laughs> yes. Please yes. So, so uh, paraphrase what you are yes. saying so, briefly. So there are all. So every part of the world, there are structures of financing their operations. Even in the UK, the Westminster gives certain grants to councils to run. There are people. Even in America, education is strictly by, federal by government. Law. By law. It by law. Federal government. Education is strictly federal government in America. They can give grants to states, so they still do that. Also by law. By law. So, but mm. Nigeria, to have those laws, they are by the state controls. They are IGROs. They don't pay it to the center. Mm. Okay. All the IGROs. That's why Lagos today makes about six hundred billion in a year, and they uh, keep everything. Uh, uh, all right. Good. They understand. They keep everything. They don't send it to the center, but they still share from the one that they collect, which is not only oil. They collect VAT. 
they collect custom duties. If the law was obeyed, there wouldn't have been any need for a Paris club refund. No, no, there wouldn't have been. That's a different oh, issue. Okay. And, That's a different issue and, altogether. And then to the extent where the federal government is telling you these are the conditions. Yes. Do Dr. Uh, Onyekake, let's okay. go back there. Now, the Paris... Salaries mm -hmm. and arrears to be paid. This is what one of the conditions. Now, um, I I I let us get to know how did the Paris club come about? Come about okay. Yeah. You know, okay. You know, Paris club is not federal government money per se. It's not part of the federal revenue that is being shared in Abuja monthly. No, it is state money that was over deducted along the line, which is being refunded. Yeah. So fundamentally, the money belongs to the state. Between the years 1995 yes. and 2002. Yes. So but, but let's take another call. Uh, Sunny is here in Lagos. Welcome. Yeah, good morning. I greet you. Yeah. My name is Sunny. I'm calling from somewhere. Please. We we'll continue to talk about uh, democracy. Do we actually have democracy? Yeah, we do. Hello, can you hear me? We are hearing we don't you. We have democracy. What do you have? What we practice, what we practice, to me, as at my age, now, it is not democracy. What is we it? Continue to, we continue to take ourselves back, back to where everything we are doing today as I'm talking to you, I run a generator. We democracy in the country, in anywhere in the world. That's not the issue. No. Run generator to run. So, no demo if we are not running a democracy, Sonny, if we are not running a democracy, what are we running? They just release Oshu State Paris Fund when the election is just how many days, how many weeks? For us, is so. Doctor, yeah. States funds now, that that were over over deducted deducted yes. between 1995 and 2002. Yes. yes, these deductions are coming back. Yes, in tranches. You know. Well, um, the federal government has has released part of this money in two tranches before. The last one was given in December, yeah, 2017. Now, what brought about Paris uh, Club is the money, some 16 point something billion that the federal government gave to Ocean State a few, just a few days ago, a few weeks ago. Naira. Naira, Naira. Now, that is what, they, if I, they, some newspapers say it was given secretly. So mm -hmm. whatever is hidden must be revealed. Yeah. So it came to light. And so that is why the issue came up again. So the point is, well, there is nothing wrong in federal government expecting the states to use the money judiciously to pay salary. Otherwise, these, these to, to conditions. Pay, yes, these conditions. Yeah. Well, um, the federal government, like um, we are saying, is the, is, the, is, the, is, is the papa, is the grandfather that is in charge of financial whatever. Of, of the family. Of the family. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong in the fa father giving out money and say, please use this money very well. Yeah, you use it. it to it's do like this. giving you your yes. school fees. Yes, pay your fees. Yes, but we have a, uh, a Yakub here, here in Lagos. Yakub, welcome. Yeah, good morning, citizen. I greet you. And then good morning to your guest. Thank you. Good, good morning. morning. Uh, to me, let me begin by saying that uh, our national assembly are not helping the matter. Uh, truly, we are running on democracy. There's no doubt about it. Because the reason is this. I don't know if we can cast our mind back. During the last constitution amendment, they made some, uh, some cutting amendment here by, uh, when we are talking about uh, devolution of uh, power. When they got to that clause, what are they doing? All of them put it down. They said we are by if that, if that bill gets to pass the law, you will give a right to a state to generate power and distribute that power. Yeah, uh, uh, we understand, we agree with you in total, yes. but, but then the thrust of the discussion is the Paris, Paris yes. Club I, refund. I, I, don't, don't, I, please, please. no, 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 time, see, time, let, time, let time. You this, e edit yourself. Let, let's go quick. Fine. If we are not doing something about our constitution, citizens, 
All these Paris money that we are talking about, if we, if we give it to government 100 times, they are going to embed to that money, especially where that there's no any law to catch up with them. You have mm -hmm. given you know, mm -hmm. money. When we are talking about the Paris fund that gave it to you, in order for you to pay salary, and then at the end of the day, you did not pay salary, and then the constitution is not catch up with we, you. We, we leave it there, Yakub. We leave it there. So there's no reason why a refund which is titularly yours yes, yes. should come to you and you decide to frita, frit, frita it. Well, our, our, the system, the people, our leaders, our governors have been frittering money. They've been misusing money, mismanaging money. That is why people are not paid salary. People are being, you know, owed uh, pension areas and so on and so forth. I have said uh, here on this, uh, on, on this discussion that people are being owed money not because there's no money. The money to pay them is available. It is mismanagement. Otherwise... No, no, if, if it is mismanaged, it yes. won't be there. That's the thing. The, the money is diverted to some other... So the money is not there. It's, it, they, they, you give somebody I, I, money. I don't know if you understand the logic. <laughs> Maybe Reverend Dominic in Alimosho here in Lagos understands. Good morning, Susan Jones. I greet you, sir. Good morning. You are wonderful guest this morning. Thank Good you. Morning. Just let me answer you directly. We are not running democracy. We are running a civil rule. Why? If we are running a democracy, there is no way somebody in South Africa can make a law that the people will not drink beer. Say so we who drink beer in Lagos, they will use our part of beer and still give it the money to the man who is in South Africa, who bans drinking beer in South Africa. <laughs> that's not democracy. That's a civil rule. If it's democracy, <laughs> if you don't want to drink beer, that's fine. And you should not share from the back of a man who drank beer. So this is democracy. But let me go back to what I'm discussing. Paris Club. The same issue. If we, okay, that was during the uh, military rule. But Paris Club fund today have been abused and abused again. If you also run democracy, we didn't need to tell the state what to use its money to do. If you like, they can vote it. To the, mm -hmm. They can utilize it well. If it is democracy. But because of the civil rule, Somebody will tell you what you used to do and when to give it to you. So it will be visible or available yeah. or useful to uh, you. Uh, uh, Reverend, you that if you yeah, want yeah. good governance here, yeah, yeah, yeah. we should go back to the shell and yeah. think out of the tank or out of the box how to run Nigeria well. But yeah, it's a failure. I've said before, he must say, there's no democracy there. Uh, all right, uh, the, the, the Reverend Dominic, without indulging in semantics or polemics, I, I, I think the opposite of civil rule would be military rule. So, civil, <laughs> democratic... It's a, uh, I think we are being sentimental on uh, yeah. all this issue. Let me say this. Uh, fiscal policy is mainly embedded in the federal government. And if, there are, if the states are not keen into the fiscal uh, uh, policy of the federal government, you have chaos. Because states control quite a large chunk of uh, 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 resources that comes to the country. Now, if states are mismanaging funds, it's going to be affecting whatever fiscal policy that the federal government is putting in place. And I just said that from the from beginning. When we talk about the economy, economy is about spend, spend the income and expenditure in the, in, in, the, in the system. And so if income are not properly channeled to the right expenditure, then you have low productivity and you go into recession by the, by the figures. Now, so that is why the federal government, the federal government is not supposed to really, in all true sense of it, mm -hmm. it's not supposed to tell the states what to do what with to their do. money. Mm. If we have rational leaders like we used to have, their wars, the Zeke and the Okparas of this world. If we have rational leaders that know what they are doing, the Mbakwe's and the Okilos and the Bollegues of this world, if we have such rational leaders, we will not wait for the federal government to tell them what to do with their resources. That knows that their resources is meant to protect their people and to grow their, their, their domestic economy. They should not, that, that would not be the case. But this truth remains that a, 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 few, a, a, a few weeks ago I was, Locked up an argument with some civil servants in, 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 in Ibado. And we are saying that, that a boy is not giving money to their state governor because that's why they are not paid salary. And I told and I was and I was explaining to them the concept of the the, the concept of the federal account. And I was even telling them that look, in your state, at least the governor gets about five billion, about five billion as uh, 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 allocation. allocation from the state. There are 13 local governments that get a minimum, least is 100 billion. So if a state that has about 3.8.3 billion that comes in every day in the states. And I don't know what that is. And most people don't know this. 
All right. So, 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 so they were not saying, sorry, they were not saying that. Why can't Buhari pay them salary directly from we, the we, federal because center? The, Which the, I said is not possible. The viewer is because here. Of the, because of the... The viewer is here. Sorry. Sadiq is here, reaching us from up far, far, far northeast. May the degree. Uh, welcome, Sadiq. Yeah, good morning. I greet you. Uh, thank you, sir. Hello? You are on, sir. Are you there? I'm there, I'm there. I'm let's there. go, let's go. go. Hello? Sadiq, Hello? let's go. Go on. Okay, okay. Um, you see, uh, thank you, thank you. Good morning. The problem we are having in this country is not uh, whether the governors are operating on a main course. The problem is clearly mismanagement. From Maiduguri to Lagos, from Lagos to, to Katina, from Katina to Imo, it's just clearly mismanagement. Mm -hmm. When you check out what we, we are, what we had before now, I mean, during, our, uh, during the during the government of uh, Adana, uh, Awolo, and Co, they, they, they were less colorful, but with, uh, with a greater impact. But these days, what we have is just uh, more colorful governors with mm -hmm. little or no impact. Mm. Purely, uh, uh, clearly, what we are, what we are problem, the problem we are facing today is just mismanagement. It's not, uh, it's not uh, because they are operating on the main post. Yeah. If you give them heaven, they will still not pay salaries. <laughs> All right, all right. So clearly, that is just the problem. Okay, thank you, Sadiq. And another precondition is: be sure UBE scheme is up and running. It cannot be wrong. UBE, that's Universal Basic, basic Education. Basic education. Yeah, which had been neglected. Well, you see, do, do you need to beg governors? Do we, like my colleague has said here, you know. If people are rational and people are committed with integrity, personal integrity, and they, are really, they really want to serve the people, they don't need to be told. All these things are conditions listed here. Why should a governor be told to pay salary to people who worked? Or pay pension to workers. Or pay workers. pension to people. And this is people's money that was deducted along the line for, for years. Why should a governor be told to... to Ensure that people, uh, kids, enroll in education. I you know more, more, uh, more, more enrollment so, in school and, and so, so on. So, so. Le, le, let me take uh, Babatunde in Oshogbo, Oshun State. Is our last but not the least caller. Welcome, sir. Hello. Good morning. I greet you. Yeah, I'm Mr. Citizen. I greet you, sir. Go on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm so happy about the topic you're discussing today, but. I would really like to, I don't want to politicize, uh, politicize this issue, but I see no reason why some people will call and sound so unreasonable. He's gone. Wish. Uh, <laughs> so, conclude your Yes, what I'm saying is, uh, the governors, the leaders, our governors, they don't need to be told to do the right thing. They're supposed to do the right thing. If they, are, if they really like the people and love the people like it is elsewhere. You go to other countries, you know, things are working. Here, things are not working. Like somebody said, no matter the amount of money you give to them, they will still fritter it away. That is the fundamental problem. So it's more about discipline. It's discipline. It's fiscal, fiscal discipline. Fiscal discipline. Mm. You know, people, people are greedy. People are, you know, are, you know are, they, they want to... Fritter away yeah. money, they want yeah. to embezzle yeah. money, they want to be money. Because the money, free money you know, is there. Because it's free money. Yeah. How, but, how do you close? Yeah, because there's less accountability and people are not, and people, ha even the citizenry has been so uh, uh, depressed that they lack capacity to challenge. And now the citizens have seen those with wealth as the champions. And that's why the government will go into office and mismanage everything. Which, is not, which was not so before. It goes in, somebody that you know that used to be a friend on the same street, he becomes a local government chairman, a governor, anything, and in one year, he has changed, he has moved to Bain Island, he, and then you praise him. So we need to get back to, and that is why I always, when people talk about uh, uh, restructuring, I say, let's first of all restructure ourselves. If our minds are not restructured, if our character is not restructured, if our system, if you like, give the whole money That's it. to one yeah. state today, the whole resources, it will flitter it away. Wait. Go and build airport that it doesn't need. All right. Go and build a skyscraper that it doesn't need. 
and then the people we, will we, remain, we must remain end it there. In, 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 in Dr. Thank you Luke Onyekakea, many thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Uh, Alester Wilcox, I can thank you enough. It's always my pleasure, citizen, anytime. All right, so in taking this home, let's say this to you folks. If you have an MA in economics, but a PhD in spending recklessly, you end up nowhere. So also it is in politics, make an MA in political science, but PhD in political recklessness, you amount to nothing. I'm done for the morning. Yori will be here tomorrow. Uh, keep the date. Bye-bye now.